Let's need. get to your Twitter beef with the world because it's all right, nonsense all right. here. Okay, so yesterday Adam Beasley put out a – our boy Adam Beasley put out a great column on uh, Tua Tungavailoa, talking about his history, how he became a phenom, all that type of stuff. You, you want to learn about Tua. Past year? Go read Beasley's article on Tua Tungavailoa. But, you know, Beasley, you know, he'll tweet it out a few times during the day with a right. different type of headline to get people all uh, riled up with it. And so he decides to tweet this out, which is a line in the article, but he puts it out with one of his tweets. He says, with apologies to Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, Tua on day one becomes the most recognizable and probably the most popular sports star in Miami. Now, I got to tell you something. I don't even know if I disagree with this. He's probably right. Tua Tungavaloa is, I think, right now, he walks in with playing no Miami games for, for... we talked about this the other day. Is he not the biggest star that's ever been drafted by a Miami team? I think probably. As far as anticipation for him to pay, to, to play his first Miami game, I think that's going to be off the charts. Um, but I can't help myself, Leroy, because I know Beasley has been trying to he's been trying to take back the town for football for a long time. He's been trying to he's been trying to pry the town from the Miami Heat's cold dead fingers for a long time. That this is a football town. And damn it, we love our football. And football's number one. You know, he's always getting to the, the, the ratings arguments over, oh, games and the rankings. Like, by the way, did you see uh, the ratings for the draft for Miami? No. 29th. 29th in the country out of 36 markets. Like, not that high for having a very important draft. Which I, f- I found it very surprising. Now, the draft was... Yeah. Now, overall, draft was still a monster. Number one thing on television, but in comparison to other markets, we've been dead last for games and we were not very high for the draft rankings. Now, I already like I can tell you as a guy who plays in the field of what people are interested in to a tongue of Eloa is right now the hottest thing going for Miami sports radio. Anything we put out that's to a content Leroy huge numbers. People are crazy about it. Well, so I mean, I'm aware. you don't get to tank. You don't get to tank for Tua, and then not have it mean anything. So that has more to do with that than the actual player. But for me, I'm a guy. I love boxing people in, and so Adam Beasley made a very crucial misstep with his tweet. He said, "With apologies to Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, Tua on day one." becomes the most recognizable and probably most popular st- sports star in Miami. So I just retweeted it with a little fun. I was just having a little fun, Leroy, because Beasley's always trying to take back the town. You guys know I love the Miami Heat. So I just threw out there. I took a little screenshot of Tua's t- Instagram followers. He is at almost 700,000. And I took a screenshot of Tyler Hero's Instagram followers. Tyler Hero's almost at 900,000. So I just post them both side by side, and that's it. No comments. Just sat back and watched the damage, and people went nuts. People were like, yeah, but look how many followers to us out over this since the draft, and uh, he hasn't even played a game yet. Uh, it's like, yes. And then the Heat people are like, yeah, see, Tyler Hero, he doesn't have all those Alabama fans following him, which, by the way, Kentucky fans, Alabama fans, it's 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 a it's a jockey for position on who's crazier because they're both nutty fan bases. Kentucky fans are nutty about their basketball players, just like yeah. Alabama fans are. Just so yeah, you guys guess know. Guess what? Here, I'll give you. Um, you say Tyler versus Tua. Yep. I will say this. Did you know who Tyler Hero was before he became a Heat player? Nope. Okay. There you go. There you go. Not true. He had a I big mean, shot for Kentucky against Houston in the, in the Sweet Tua, 16. Tua has been a phenomenon for the last three years. He has been. He's definitely okay. been more famous. Okay. But wasn't the question. Day one, is he more famous than guys who are in the NBA? Yes. And according to social media, he is not. No. He is not. I didn't even – now, look. I didn't even put him up against Jimmy Butler. That didn't even seem fair. Jimmy Butler's been a professional player and an all-star. Jimmy Butler's got five, Jim, Jimmy Butler's got five million Instagram followers. Here, here's the only reason why, okay? 
that we don't because the Heat have been winning and the Heat are doing well, right? And the Dolphins haven't been. Yep. But as soon as football in any way, shape, or form, i.e., remember when the Canes started 10 and 0? Yes. Right? Basketball gets put in the back pocket. It does. And, 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 and so if there is a recognizable football player or a national star that comes on to the Dolphins team, i.e., we're talking Ricky Williams, we're talking uh, uh, Indomitian Sue, um, anybody with a name, a national name, that comes to Miami and plays for Miami, that guy is going to get more of a. It, it took it, it took a a two decade run of irrelevance on the same trajectory. That same time, the Heat have won three championships. It took the Dolphins plummeting and the Heat skyrocket to even make it a competition. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm aware of that, but exactly. over those 20 years, that's a lot of youth that hasn't seen the Dolphins be very good. Now, right. there's their dads, their grandpas, all that. Football's going to be number one. And by the way, in the culture of our city, football's number one. High school football in South Florida? Hell, Little League football in South Florida with the gambling going on between each other on the sidelines? It's a different, co- it, it's a different love that we have from Miami all the way up to Palm Beach County, in the Glades, all that type of stuff. It's crazy, Leroy. It's a crazy love for football. So... I'm not saying Beasley's wrong. I just like sitting back and seeing everybody argue of it. It's hilarious. <laughs> People got so mad, Leroy. Right. Hey. Because honestly, you know what you should be happy with? Here's, here's the real deal about it. Do you know how great it is that maybe we have these franchises being good at the same time? That's the dream. Like it'd be nice. It'd be nice. You yeah, know, I hate almost a whole a whole season of good sports. Yeah, you know, it'd be nice. Me having if if we got a situation where Tua plays next year, the Heat are 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 looking like contenders. Maybe the Marlins finally actually turn it around. And oh my God, if the Panthers could get it right, I mean, could, could like I hate this city more than poison. But could we have like a Boston run where like all four sports were good at the same time? That would be amazing. Sure would. Here you go. But we've we paid those, enough debt. I mean, we've had you here. Know. We have paid all the yeah. debt there is to pay. Bleep those Miami Heat fans who want to say Tyler is more popular. After the NBA draft, those were the same Heat fans calling Riley Wash for drafting <laughs> Tyler. I have a long memory for those bandwagon jumpers. I agree. I, I agree. Do. Soon as they said, what is the eighth pick? But the question wasn't. What, but but that's the problem, though. All right? We got to be careful with our words. And Beasley said day one. Wait, wait, wait. We have to be careful with our you, words. You? We have to be careful with our words. And Go. we can't sit here and say day one a guy is more popular than somebody who's got 5 million followers on Instagram and Jimmy Butler and doesn't have more followers than Tyler Hero. That's just the facts. with that? Them's the Are facts. you really going to look me right in the face? And say that a football star um, is not bigger than a basketball star. Uh, hold that on, guy's D Wade. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying that, here in it, Miami. We're talking about Miami only. We're not talking about overall because there is nobody bigger than LeBron, Giannis, Kevin Durant. Right. No, there's nobody bigger Steph than basketball Curry, stars. Steph Curry. We're not talking about those guys, right? But we're talking here. In Miami, right? Mm-hmm. When was the last time somebody? I haven't went, seen. I haven't seen the Dolphins fan hasn't gotten to get excited about a player like this in a long, long time. I mean, they have, but they it didn't result in anything. So, keep who's the last mind, guy? Who's the last guy that I got this excited about? This excited about Ricky Williams. That's that's so long ago, Leroy. And Dominican Sue, Brandon Marshall. Br- hey, come on. Brandon Marshall wasn't. Brandon Marshall was a party. For like three seconds. And Dominic and Sue, you never saw him do anything on the field. All right. Mike Wallace. Nah. I mean, these are guys people were like, yes, okay, great addition. Nobody was but 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 like this guy, this guy feel he felt like that 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 night where he got drafted, 
it felt like a page turner, you know? Right. That's what Beasley's and you know, that's to Beasley's point of him I mean, trying to think about get this. this back to be a football player. Like it, it feels like the it feels like the Dolphins did what the fan base has been wanting them to do for the longest time. It also felt in a lot of ways like the right move. Yes, I understand the injury risk, but his talent, his talent is phenomenal. Th- think about this. There wasn't this much of a pop when when the Dolphins drafted Dan Marino. No. Well, he was uh, he was slip. Right. But I'm just saying. So so understand oh, no, not Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush? Nah. Uh, Reggie I, Bush I mean, was qu- remember Reggie, Reggie Bush, Bush gets a bum rap on Re- his career. But Reggie Bush there was questions of because he was going to be brought in to give a chance to be an all down, an every down back, which everybody right. was like, "Really?" He did. He was a 1000-yard rusher one year, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. He was. And didn't him and uh did him and Jeremiah Bell get into it because Reggie Bush said they sucked right now? I feel like they did. <laughs> I feel like that was a thing. All I remember is that uh remember they had the council like <laughs> Like leadership council, Jake Long. I know. Oh, the leadership council, terrible. Leadership council. Yep. Master of coin. By the way, back to my shows that I'm watching. Yep. Man, these priests are untouchable, huh? Oh yeah, you walk you walk by with a cross around your neck, you good. Oh, not so fast, my friend. I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching this last kingdom. Oof. Priest was kind of shady, but uh, he got got. Uh, somebody says, I'm 26. I could care less about football. Would rather watch the Marlins than the Dolphins. Oh, God. At least the Marlins have won something in the past 20 years. Basketball is king. Well, we saw yesterday We saw yesterday that uh, you know Marlins couldn't even beat the Heat in a poll. A Marlins live game couldn't even beat the, uh, the Heat in a poll, a replay. I would watch a Marlins live game. Dude, I would, sports. I would snort a Marlins game right now. Right. I I would be like, oh, yeah. I would ground up and patter up every Slim Jim that I had and put it right up my macho nostril. If I could get one pitch from anybody right now, I'm talking about Jose Orenye. I would even watch Kevin Gregg on his bum leg with his foggy glasses why was he wearing glasses in the South Florida heat? You know you could talk about Jameis Winston couldn't be able to see. Everybody knew Kevin Gray couldn't see with those foggy glasses. Hey. You know how many times I have to wipe my, my, my windshield while I'm watching the game? No further questions, me, Gene. Hey. Heath Bell. What if Heath Bell was pitching? I would I would I would snort watching Heath Bell pitch right now just to laugh at his disaster. Somebody says, Tobin is like the Joker. I'm an engine of chaos. <laughs> I just knew it, too. I was like, ooh. Because we were, I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> You're like, ooh, I got, I got some action. Because <laughs> we, were, we were listening to this meeting, and I don't know. There was like a grab. You want to get me out. You want me to check out during a meeting. Put up a pie chart. Oh. So oh, I was. I could. What? Dude, pie charts out. I'm out on a pie chart meeting. And so I saw Adam Beasley tweet this out. I was like. All right. And so I went to my my immediate reaction was to go to Tua and screenshot Jimmy Butler's. I'm like, too easy, too easy, because I don't think it's fair to compare Tua and Jimmy. Jimmy Butler's been in our our sports mind longer than Tua. He's and he's a basketball star. He is a basketball star. And I don't even know where like I don't even know even as far as Miami, where does Jimmy Butler rank in popularity? Because I found it weird. I would go to like just just anecdotally. I would go to like Dick's Sporting Goods, right? When the Vice Wave jerseys came out, no Jimmy couldn't Butler's. Couldn't find a Jimmy Butler jersey. All it was yeah. was Dwayne Wade jerseys. Uh, it's it's a weird thing with Jimmy Butler. Like, he's a star, but he's a different kind of star than all the other stars. You know what I mean? Like, the consummate professional doesn't always get the. You know what I mean? I tell you what, though, man. Like, people should appreciate him. First of all, I think he's been a big reason Bam took the leap that he has. I think that he's been a perfect running mate with the guy. I think that he pushes those guys to be better. And I got to say, I think he's one of the funniest guys to cover in the locker room, too, because he doesn't take any bold leap. And he's he's just a hilarious dude. You know, we've just been we've just been uh, prone to this guy's surly bastard. And that's the way that he is. But um, so I don't know where he ranks in popularity with Miami, but I thought too easy. Five point nine million. Too easy. Tyler Hero. Him and him and Tua, same amount of posts, basically. 
you know, and and Tyler Hero and more. I just took this like a scud grenade, Leroy. I was like, and let's watch, not forget, watch he fans probably it. got a spike during the draft talk. I'm sure. He, let me tell you something. His first touchdown going to be an even bigger spike. It's going to be crazy. But that doesn't that. Hey, Soon, that, you know, when there'll be a bigger spike. Yep. When he releases his number. You know what? Oh, man, that's going to go crazy. But you want you want to know something? Even if I agree with the point from Adam Beasley, doesn't mean I won't post something on Twitter that makes it seem like I disagree with it just to laugh on Twitter. Yeah. That's what I'll do. And it was a good time. See, you, the people of Miami, I am familiar with your work. I know. I mean, you get that look. Yeah. I'm like, uh-oh, here it comes. We're here back with, it comes. We're back with more after this. Texter writes in. My Dolphins going to be big mad when Belichick wins the Super Bowl with Andy Dalton. That's not happening. Sorry. No sale. I, on that I just one. think I just think how you determine who's a good quarterback and who isn't that your system is flawed. That's all right. I think my system's pretty great. Okay. Just go. Got he's got it. He does not. He's got it. He does not. I feel like I roll with it Did just Trent fine. Have it? No. No. Super but he had a winner. Yeah, but he had a legendary defense. Oh, okay, but you can't mix and you can't pick and choose. Sure, I can. It's the court. No, you can't. All he, all it takes is he, he got it. Look, I know you're a person who likes to jump in on things. With me, I'm more tempered. I like to take a step back. Take a step back. What? Big picture. You have never. Big picture. Your That's picture how I is roll. so small it could fit on the end of a needle. Nope, nope. My picture is wide and clear. Wide and clear. Okay, wide and clear. Texter just chimes in. Okay. If the Bengals are ready to start Burrow week one, you know our boy Tua is ready as well. I listen. I'm telling you. Is that big picture or is that? Well, here's what I think. You know what I think? Let me hear. Because I already saw ESPN. I think it was Cameron Wolf who wrote it. He covers the Dolphins. And he's already saying, do the right thing, red shirt to it, don't even think about, about starting two of this year, right? Here's what I'd say. I say to any columnist who has that column, any one of them, Beasley, Salguero, Kelly, Hyde, any of you, 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 you draw your line in the sand now, you stake your claim to to a benched or not benched. And if that is the case, I've challenged them to take the Fitzpatrick oath. They are not allowed to rip Fitzpatrick. And they must say, this is the plan all along. Because when we're in week six, hold on. When when we're in week six and the Dolphins are two and four and Fitzpatrick has has 15 interceptions already, I don't want to hear, well, maybe it's time to start Tua. Because I'm keeping the door open. We're here in the Tobin household. We're putting the AC off, and we're keeping the door open. You're a fraud. I'm not a fraud. Wait, wait, wait. I, I wait, took wait, my wait. Fitzpatrick oath last hold year. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Weren't you the guy when Tua got hurt that said, I'm drafting him anyway, I'll yeah. just sit him for the first year? Right, but that was before I knew Tua oh. Tungavaloa <laughs> said he was 100% so, healthy. So why can't they do that? Because, because. You can't stake that claim right after you draft him and then after you go through pain. It's easy to say that, Leroy. Easy to say that in, what are we, in April? About to be in May? Easy to say that now. Oh, just bench him. But when you're going through the pain of another terrible season with the Dolphins and Ryan Fitzpatrick's your quarterback and he's doing that great mentoring you guys talk about, be forewarned. Don't be that guy who then is all of a sudden, uh, well, if, Tua's look, if you see Tua look great in warm-ups... You better be sticking with that the whole way, all right? I want them to take the Fitzpatrick oath, which means you can't rip him. You can't say he stinks. You can say this is who he is. You just you just grit your teeth and bear it. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. Because we're keeping the kinda door open like, over here. Kind of like what you didn't do. What are you talking about? I kept my Fitzpatrick oath. Did I rip Fitzpatrick? You didn't keep your Tua oath. I didn't take a Tua oath. Oh, Did so I, you can just be all willy-nilly, change your mind back and forth? You either take an oath or you don't take an oath. An oath is an oath. Okay. So you're saying I should have made you take an oath on Tua. You can. But, but what is my oath going to be? 
that I'm okay with Tua not playing, which was the original plan. That oath, I had not a, oath not agreed to. I don't take that oath because I'm keeping the door open. Now you're keeping the door. It's funny how you acted when you thought you you may not get Tua and how you're acting now that you have Tua. Perhaps. Like your thinking went from big picture to little bitty baby nope. picture. Big nope. picture. Big picture. Okay. Where does the big picture say Tua needs to play as soon as possible? What if he's the better quarterback? That doesn't matter. Clearly, I just, think he's I the quarterback just, of the future. Bro, let you me already, tell you something. You already think he's a better quarterback. Let me tell you something. Tua Tungavaloa, he's not a caterpillar. All right? There's not a chrysalis state. So if you put him in his little cocoon, he's not going to come out a butterfly. He's already a butterfly. All right? You ever think of that? But his left wing could use a little more healing. We don't know. Maybe his wing is as good as it's going to get. Which is scary. Or fantastic because it's already 100%. So here, let me ask this question. Are you willing to risk that as soon as possible? Or would you err on the side of caution knowing that you want to have this quarterback for 10 years? To me, I think we talked to Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown sold me. And he said, a lot of this stuff is bad luck. The Dolphins, they believe that too. They said it was bad fortune what happened to his hip. I think he's not injury prone. He's not a guy with nagging injuries. I think he's had some bad luck trying to extend plays. I think in a lot of ways, his bad luck, he's probably hit all the bad luck roads that he's already hit in his career. What do you think of that? All the misfortune he could have. I think you're a wishy-washer. you flip-flopper. Um, you're a fraud. You changed your mind. Now, all of a sudden, you put in the same things that you put on, right? You're telling the media not to do it. The same thing you did. It. You just did it. It didn't even last five months. Because I had the guts. No, no, no. Because I had the You already I, switched no, no. your mind. Because I, I had the guts to take an oath. I had the guts. We're not, we're not talking about that crappy oath. No, no. Right? That was a real oath. Right. You told me. You told me, take an oath, don't yeah. Fitzpatrick, stick to the Texter plan. I stuck a, to the plan. You got a little baby Jesus, eight-pound baby Jesus picture. All right, we'll see. We'll see. So you say play him as soon as he's ready. Texter writes in, if the Dolphins reporters and writers don't want Tua to play all year, they shouldn't be allowed to write a single article that mentions his name. You don't want to see Tua? I'll read your articles in a year. Texter hey, writes question. What? So, you're saying play two as soon as possible. I'm saying if he's ready, play him. And I think he's ready. Okay, you think he's ready. Yep. Which is totally different than what you thought a couple of months ago. You're right. But you want to know something? I didn't have – I got to see his virtual workout. I got the word of Trent Dilfer. So, wait. You're basing his success on a virtual workout? Yep. The Dolphins did. The Dolphins did. Boxed in. If the Dolphins can go in there and they say the virtual – if Brian Flores – you love Brian Flores. If Flo, Flo-osophy, is he's telling you the virtual workout was important, then how come I can't? How come I can't say it was important? You've been but that, Hold on. That doesn't mean he's ready to play football. That just means that his hip's better. They have no idea. They don't know where he is on his hip. Oh, they Other know. Other than he can throw a couple of pass patterns. They know. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me get to my guy here. All right, baby goat. The other big star here in Miami. The other young, the other young star. All right, Wait, 20-year-old wonder. If Tyler Hero Man, walked down the street, would people know who he was? 100%. No. Tyler, Ty, Leroy is the most popular he player right now. He's def- <laughs> definitely. I would say you probably people. So? I bet more people recognize him than Bam. Yeah, I think so. Now. How many more people will recognize Tua? Than Bam? Than any one of those. I don't know. It's a good question because uh, Tua's not as big. He got, he's normal size. Tyler Hero's tall. Oh, tall white guy. He must play basketball. Yep. I'll tell you what. Let me tell you something. Being a white we guy that a can. tall guy in our building, and we know damn well he didn't play no basketball. Let me tell you something. Uh, being the tall white guy who can ball also ups the popularity. People love the white guys who can ball. No, it does. Dude. It does. 
Hey, any got white Latinos down here, dude. Any guy, any white baller gets to be graded on a curve. They do. They're like, ooh, just like white boxers. Same thing. You get a white boxer. Oh my god, they fast track them. No, know what it is? An English boxer. Hey, or a Britain boxer. Oh my goodness, Ricky Hat. Um. Oh, Ricky. Hatt. Well, Ricky. Hatt. I, mean, I feel bad for Ricky. Hatt. Ricky Hatt was a beast, but he just he, he got he got a little he got a little bit too froggy, bit off more than he could chew. I mean, Floyd Mayweather knocked him out right into the ring post. Oof. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys. So, you anywho, guys, you are a fraud. I am calling it. You changed your mind. You won't admit it. That. Just a couple of months ago, you were saying, I don't care if he sits for the whole year. I'm fine. I like him. That's our guy. We got to have him. I don't care if he's not healthy. He can redshirt his first year. Remember all that? All that? Except Kevin Love, somebody said. (laughs) People love Kevin Love, too. Trust me. They love Kevin Love, too. Not now. And I'm telling you. More people recognize Tua than Tyler. In Miami? Yep. You so if you think they both go to if they both go to live, more people who's the who's DMs do you think are more lit? Tyler Heroes or Tua's? Tyler Hero, but that's just the kind of people they are. What do you mean? Right? What do you I'm mean? Just saying. Tua 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 is not Tua's, Tua's think- gonna be cu- hey, Tua's gonna be willy nilly because his parents are gonna be staying with little Tua at, in Alabama. Yeah. All right. He's going to be out of, out of the nest. You think? Oh, you don't yeah. want that, though. Why not? I want him to have a good oh, time. Oh, goodness. You, hold on. We've had that before, the party and quarterback. It doesn't work out well. Yeah. You mean you mean him up for the Canes? Whoever. Go across anywhere. Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel. Okay, you don't want. Like, yeah, but John, yeah, hold but, on. But Johnny Manziel sucks. He didn't suck because he partied. He just partied and he happened to suck. Baker Mayfield could not run the cop. <laughs> Somebody said, I'd recognize Tyler before Duncan. Oh, but yeah, 100%. Dun- Duncan, Duncan's just like one of those guys where, where remember, the, remember the, fake, uh, the fake Andre Godala quote everybody got, got with? Because if people, people thought Andre Godala said that uh, I thought he was the ball boy. Mostly you. What do you mean me? For for all the times you you bait you bait people on on Twitter, you also fall for everything Twitter. I didn't fall we for did that. We did a whole segment on I that. Did. I told you that people got. I the segment was about people getting fooled. You didn't get fooled. I didn't get you fooled. Know, look, you go on Twitter, and Robbie, correct me if I'm wrong. Tobin goes on Twitter. Uh oh, boys. We got a live one, and he starts sending texts. Texter writes in Tua and the baby goat should be re- should be roommates. How do you think that would go? You feel I like t- take picture of Tua being all neat and <laughs> everything folded up and nice. Tyler and Hero he puts name tags on his food, and Tyler Hero is just ramshotting through the whole whole place. Got IG you models know, out in the pool. Dude, do you know what kind of Astron would assemb- assemble? Astron! Assemble! With Tyler Hero and Tua Tagovailoa together? Oh, nope. my God. Somebody said Tua's uh, Tim Tebow p- part de. Nah. Except he can throw. Nah. Nah. Listen, Tebow, Tebow has a better hip. Dude, listen, there's, there's, there's no commandment that says thou shalt not ass model. Trust me. I went to Catholic school. I don't remember that commandment. Thou shalt not cover. <laughs> Thou shalt not cover Astron. All right. When we come back, no when we chance. come back, when we come back, I'll give you these Tyler Hero quotes, and also we'll hear from the Godfather, Pat Riley. Speaking of uh, religion, Riley, be with you. We're back after this.